Hey everybody and welcome back to the farm. I'm going to do a little farm update video. I know several people have requested me to do one. Not really a whole lot's going on since the last video I made other than it's gotten cold and after 40 something days of no rain we finally got mm, eight, about six, eight inches of rain in just a couple weeks time. So now everything's nice and wet. And uh, of course we're having to feed hay. Didn't put up a whole lot of hay this year, so it's gonna be tight. If we're getting a real cold winter, we may run out. I think this hay that's in this side, and we've emptied about all the hay that's in this behind this red door. Of course the side of the barn it's got uh, it's got a lot of hay in it, but not near as much as we normally put up. No square bales this year. And I ain't really sad about that. I don't like square bales. But I know it's easy to count, especially if you're um, running low on hay, it's a lot easier to feed square bales and kind of keep a little better check on how much they eat because you put out a round bale and they'll just sit around this round bale and they'll eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and it'll be gone in a couple of days we built this fence here a few months ago and it ties into this back fence now the river the only fence we like to left to build is this upper fence down this hedge road and uh, want to try to get it done this winter, but I don't think that's going to happen. And we sold a bunch of cows here a while back, so we're down to just a few now. Got the old bull up here, and a couple of heifers, some few old cows, old yellow cow there, and. Uh, we're actually missing a cow somewhere. There's supposed to be another cow here somewhere. No, there she is. She's right there eating. So we're down to what, two, four, six, eight, eight head out of 12 or 13, whatever we had. Kind of glad we got rid of some of them because of the hay. Prices are down real bad because everybody's having to sell because they can't feed, they ain't got no hay. It's just a dry, dry summer. To start out such a nice spring, it sure did turn off, be crappy. Actually, it's uh, rained a lot in June and then it turned off dry in July. And this last cutting really didn't get much off of it. At one time, I could have come out here and I got these trucks unstuck pretty easy. This ground was dry as a bone. So I need to, I've got that one stuck. And uh, I'm gonna get my toolbox off here and clean it up and put it on the dually. I gotta get a lock for it. But I don't have a key to it. It's the only reason it's been on here for the last four years. The walls love to build in it. I usually check it once a year to see how many walls nests are in it. Golly, could you imagine opening that up in the summertime? It would not be pretty. So they, they come in these little holes down here in the bottom and build in here. I bet there's a thousand of them dead. So I'm gonna get a get a lock for that and put it on that do uh, C30. This winter, I'm hoping. Of course, I've said it. I think every winter, I want to swap motors, take the motor out of this truck, and put it in the dump truck, because I believe that uh, 330 that's in that dump truck has got a blowed head gasket or something. It it won't hold coolant, overheats. I don't really smoke like a head gasket, but may just have a cracked radiator. I don't know. 
but it overheats and uh, then it runs like crap. So I know I've overheated at least twice since I've had it. Don't fool with these much in the summer. For obvious reasons. <sighs> yep, well, you know this truck wasn't in bad shape when I got it and it's been sitting here since 2004 or five. So 10, 11 years I've had this truck and it's uh, mostly set and now it's gotten in really, really bad shape. My gas jugs fell over. as a snapper lawnmower gas jug on it. The only bad thing about swapping this motor is this one does not have power steering and the other one does. I went to crank this truck a while back and the uh, Start solenoid's bad on it, so it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, some pretty good size nest in there. One big one. They love building in this damn dump truck. And of course they can get in real easy through these holes in the floor. So it kind of worries me in the summertime even sitting in this thing. It's uh, seats all fricked up and it's just a POS really. but. Sure would be nice to, to uh, be able to haul some junk over here and dump it near the woods. Get some old brush out of the way. Got that big pile up here. Got to take care of. Got a bunch of uh, hay and manure that's piled up here and there. It's got to be removed. It's got to be turned and stacked nice power pole here I was going to make some benches out of and of course this fence here is shot so this is right up in here All the, about three or four sections there is just about gone we've just got some wire covering it to help keep the cows in then a bunch of scrap metal an old baler So anyway, that is the uh, farm update. This is December the 10th. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.